Does anyone keep a lookout over our shoreline for the rapidly increasing number of leisure users and, of course, people who go walking along the shoreline? Accidents do happen. Whether it's a child drifting out to sea on a lilo, a yacht or a fishing boat with engine trouble, a diver in difficulties, or a car with someone trapped in it on a cliff. On those occasions, you need help. Let me tell you about one of the best kept secrets in search and rescue. It's called the National Coast Watch, or NCI for short. The organisation is a charity, but nevertheless trains its watchkeepers to a professional high standard to monitor the inshore waters and coastal paths. The NCI was born here at Bass Point on the Lizard and set up as a registered charity. Slowly the organisation grew with many of the abandoned Coast Guard lookouts around the coast renovated and equipped and manned by volunteers. They come in all shapes and sizes from very small and cramped stations such as Whitstable, Worms Head and South End to the larger constructions such as Calshot on its high tower, Skegness and Russell Point. Currently there are 52 stations around the coast with over 2,400 trained watchkeepers. As a lifeboat coxswain is invaluable. Coast Watch, it's like having a helicopter up in the sky as far as eyes watching are concerned. It's an invaluable position up there. You know, anybody who travels up and down this stretch of water, you know, it's a pair of eyes looking out all the time. It's very, very, very useful. Silken lifeboat for exercise. The dive boat is 153 degrees true from Paul Point, two miles. Over, so well, uh, can you give us the position of the dive first again, over? Silkham lifeboat for exercise. The dive boat is bearing 165 degrees true from Paul Point, approximately 2.5 nautical miles. NCI's objective is to assist in the protection and preservation of life at sea and around our coastline. Last year, NCI was involved in 479 incidents and our involvement in serious incidents increases year on year. You might well have been surprised by the professionalism and enthusiasm of these volunteer watchkeepers. But, and there's always a but, if they're going to continue this vital service, they need your help. Please give it to them. <laughs>